Hello! In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. If P, then not P implies Q. So really, what this is saying is, is if we're given that P is true, then in any situation where P is false, we will also have that Q is true. That's really what this is saying. And it kind of makes sense because if P is true, right, let's say P happens to be true, then if we consider any situation where P is false, then of course Q will be true because we're never gonna have a situation where P is false. So of course, if it's false, then yeah, Q will be true. This idea is called vacuous truth, right? And yeah, we're gonna prove that, that it works. So we're trying to prove if this is true, then this is true. So let's start out by assuming that P is true. Our whole goal now is to deduce that not P implies Q. Now, since P is true, clearly, if not Q is true, then P will be true. Right? And we actually proved this in a previous video, right? Given a statement J is true, then any statement implies J. Okay, but remember, every conditional statement is equivalent to its contrapositive. That is, to say that if this is true, then this is true, is equivalent to saying if this is false, then this is false. Therefore, we can write that if not P is true, then Q is true. And so this, completes the proof, because this is exactly what we wanted to prove. And so, yeah, this is one way in which you could prove that this actually works. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.